up, my Big Mac snack wraps? It's your boy, the Miggity, 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 Miggity Mac, and welcome to another show. you guys on today's show we are doing taco tuesday um i had other footage but when i went to edit the other footage um to try to you know start on the editing process it was like corrupted or something i don't know what was wrong with that footage um so we're just doing a mukbang today uh today is day four of the seven days of fruits and veggies and yeah we got some Taco Tuesday going on. Right here, I got my uh, alkaline vegan ranch that I'm gonna put on top of these tacos. Cause I don't, you know, not doing, um, for this seven days, I'm not doing any dairy or anything. So this is gonna be like my sour cream, my nacho cheese, whatever. I got the romaine lettuce for the uh, shells. I have some homemade pico de gallo. Y'all probably can't see that. It's probably washed out. I have my walnut meat taco. Walnut um, taco meat made out of walnuts. And I have some sauerkraut. And y'all probably can't see that either. Um, but yeah, we're going to say a prayer, y'all. We're going to get into this. Amen. All right, y'all. I made the video a little darker, so... We can kind of see a little bit more of the stuff, but let's get started. Boom. Got my legs right here. And so what I do is I take the walnuts and I just um, I put them in a pot with water. And I boil them. I boil them for about 30 minutes. Then I drain them. I put them in a food processor or a blender. Blend them up until they're, you know, kind of like ground beef. Um, I season them. This time I use Mrs. Dash Chipotle seasoning. And... Yeah, put that in there and then I put it in a skillet. I didn't use no oil this time, but sometimes um, I use like put a little olive oil or avocado oil in a pan and then I throw in the meat and I put a little more seasoning in there and I, you know, just cook it. You just stir it, stir it, stir it. And then I add a can of, eight ounce can of no salt tomato sauce. And I just mix that all up in there continue to cook it for about 10 minutes and boom it's done now you can add whatever season if you want to add taco seasoning that's fine whatever seasons you want because you can also do it for um spaghetti and i'm probably going to do that too we got some fresh pico spicy pico at that And some sauerkraut. Now in the pico, it's red onion, tomato, cilantro, jalapeno, serrano pepper, and lemon juice. I didn't season it. I didn't season it um, with any salt because this has some salt in it. So, y'all know how I do. I pick and choose. And then the sauerkraut has some sodium in it too. So, I pick and choose what I want salted. Mm. 
The link to this soft is in the description box. Um, description box is by Alpha Chemist. Boom, we got some taco meat, some vegan, some walnut meat tacos, lettuce wrap tacos. All right, y'all, here you go. All right. Hmm. Bring these up. We're gonna swirl a little bit, and then we're gonna. And if y'all didn't follow the recipe I just gave for this, just look it up like on YouTube, TikTok. Well, how to make walnut meat tacos, a walnut meat taco recipe. And it'll show you. But it's pretty simple. So how my snack wraps out there doing? Who's on day four with me? Who's on day one, day two, day three? And who's starting today or starting tomorrow? I feel great. I feel amazing. And it's like a lot of people like um how come you didn't add avocado you know this has um like healthy fats in it already so i didn't really need necessarily need the avocado so <laughs> and then the walnut meat has fats in it so i didn't want to overload on the fats too much like that you gotta be mindful Like I'm mindful like of what I salt and where my sources of salt is coming from. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Get a little bit of hot sauce. So if y'all are following me on this um cleanse or detox, how are y'all feeling? Um, if you're following me, let me know what day you're on and how you're feeling and how, how has the process been for you.
so far so good. Um, following the seven day cleans, I think I am going to keep on for the majority. I may not do like raw. I may add bread. I may add, um, you know, different um, starches back in, but not frequently. But if y'all see me with potatoes, rice, bread, I'm just, I'm, don't come at me. Um, but I am going to continue, I think, with the vegetables and stuff and the fruit and fruit up till five. Like, just eat fruit and vegetables raw until 5 p.m. and then have cook, a cooked meal. I think I am going to do that. I may have some fish every now and again here and there. Um, but I'm going to just play it by ear. But I'm going to continue to incorporate way more veggies. Because I feel good. I feel good. Now, if y'all see me with some a burger or something, a McDonald's or something, we all have our cheat days. So, that is going to be what it's going to be. But, for the most part, I'm going to be trying to incorporate as many vegetables and fruits into my Meals is about dang, I forgot my shake. I'm on my smoothie, I mean. Cause food like this, it gets you full, but it doesn't give you like that stuffed feeling like you know when you eat um, other foods, like fast food or certain foods give you that stuck feel like itis and all that stuff. Like, I don't feel that. Oh, that was a good bite. Mm. So for everybody asking me about exercise, Right now, mm -hmm. see a whole lot of bit on that one. Alright, so as far as exercise, I'm not <clears throat> doing like a regiment right now. Cause I am last time I checked five hundred and nineteen pounds, five hundred and nineteen pounds. I um I have arthritis in the knees and in the hip. So I don't wanna 
that's a lot of weight to be like like I walk around every day doing my everyday activities at work and whatever um but let me get under 500 first then I'll start incorporating um exercise like an exercise regimen excuse me because that is a lot of pressure on the knees um and on the hip but eating like this like i feel lighter i'm gonna weigh myself on the last day uh, or that friday on friday i'm gonna weigh myself so when i started this i was 517 then i gained the two pounds to 519 so we're gonna see where i'm at on friday morning um but yeah, once I'm under 500, then you know, I'll start going to the gym. And I'm going to just start with 10 minutes a day on cardio. Um, and I'm going to do one body part per day. So say I start on a Monday. That Monday, I'm going to do 10 minutes of cardio. Then I'll do arms, like the biceps. I'll do three different exercises and do one set of each. And then I'm walking out. The main thing for a lot of people starting to go to the gym is driving to the gym, get, getting ready, driving to the gym. And once you're at the gym, getting out the car, going into the gym. And they say, they say it takes 21 days to make a habit. So I'm going to try to do that six days a week except Sundays. Um, do my 10 minutes of cardio. I do a body part one day to be biceps one day to be chest one day to be shoulders one day to be back one day to be triceps one day to be legs you know what i'm saying uh do three different exercises for each of those one set and i'm out for the first week the second week i'll add two minutes to the cardio but then a week after that i add another two minutes and then we got that in another two minutes, you know, until I'm up to 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour. Because, you know, we get, um, oh, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to do all this. I'm going to get on the treadmill. I'm going to run for a walk, run for an hour. I'm going to lift these weights and do all this. You ain't going to do none of that because you ain't been doing it. Your body ain't used to that. I've tried to do it like that numerous times. It doesn't work like that. Um, you get so gung-ho gung -ho about um, and excited about what you're doing, you just think you're going to conquer everything in one day. You know, I'm 36 years old. Um, it didn't take one day to pick up all this weight. You know what I'm saying? If it takes me five, eight, ten years to get down to where I got to get down to, then that's what it's going to take. But each day you do a little more because some people may be saying, oh, 10 minutes ain't enough. But 10 minutes, six times a week is, is an hour. That's an hour more than I did last week when I wasn't doing any cardio. You know what I'm saying? So every little bit adds up. If you can't do 10 minutes, start with five, start with two, start with what you can start with. You know what I'm saying? It's your own race. Don't compare yourself to nobody else. Because there's people that start and they're, oh, they do 30 minutes of cardio right off the bat. That's them. They may not be 519 pounds. They may be 350. Now, 350 is overweight, but it's still not 519. And the way I move is somebody that's six, 700 pounds. They may not be able to move how I move. You know what I'm saying? I know I keep saying that. You know what I'm saying? But... Everybody's race is different. So, I think I'm going to eat one more and I'm going to be out. I'm picking them, up, picking them up like cards. And this right here. I'm going to make a good snack later. So, we're going to save these right there. And no, not just by themselves. I ain't theory of just snacking on lettuce, no.
But yeah, I'm also not placing the title on what I'm eating. I'm not vegan. I'm not vegetarian. I'm not um, plant-based or nothing like that. I'm just trying to eat healthy, y'all. Because what happens is you put a title on it, and people are going to want to hold you on that title. You say you vegan, and they see you with some leather shoes. Oh, it's about to be a problem. You say you this and that. And they don't, and you don't eat the way they think you should be eating, or well, they be on your neck. So I'm just doing me. No title. Every day is different. So bomb. All right, y'all. I ain't gonna keep y'all no longer. We had a good meal today. Today is day four. We're going into day five. Um, this is my only really big meal of the day because I knew it was going to, you know, these walnuts, they're still nuts, so they add up in calories. You know, this has some calories in it. Everything else is basically low in calories. So I try to keep it under, but I had apples and I had a smoothie earlier. But I feel great. Um, what what am I having tomorrow? I may do like a veggie platter tomorrow with okra, bell peppers, and cucumbers, and then the, the dip, the ranch uh, dip. That's what I may do tomorrow. But anyway, I love y'all. I thank y'all. appreciate y'all. Shout out to all my day ones. I'm a new snack rest everybody in between. Thank y'all for coming to kick it with me. Um, make sure if you haven't, y'all go tag some of y'all. Tag, tell some of your favorite content creators about the Hold the Bun Challenge. We've had a few people do it. Uh, we had Vern Bangs do it. Um, we had... Uh, just the two of us. Wait. It's just the two of us. Always, I believe. They did it. Um, but yeah. We're going to see how many people could do that one. Tag some of your favorite creators. And tell them to do the seven day through the veggie cleanse. And also tag some of your favorite creators and let them know. If anybody wants to do a healthy collab, I'm open to healthy collabs. Y'all um, contact me on in the comments here. You can contact me on Instagram, TikTok. My links are in the description box, I believe. But I'll put them in there as I'm editing this video. Let them know. 
if they want to do a healthy any content creators out there that want to do a healthy collab let me know um i'm open but it has to be healthy it has to be you know but yeah i'm not gonna keep y'all no longer until we eat again my beautiful snack wraps peace